Poland may start shooting down Russian missiles and drones over Ukraine, mechanism to be developed. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said that Ukraine and Poland are seeking to develop a mechanism for jointly shooting down Russian missiles and drones over Ukrainian territory. Zelensky said this at a joint press conference with Polish Prime Minister Donald Tusk. We are especially grateful for the special agreements and this is reflected in the security agreement and a provision is provided for the development of a mechanism for shooting down Russian missiles and drones in the airspace of Ukraine launched in the direction of Poland, Zelensky said. The President is confident that the teams from both countries' ministries of defense will work together with the military on how the countries can quickly implement this point of the agreement. In turn, as Tusk said, the idea of responding to Russian missile attacks is being discussed when missiles during strikes on Ukraine are directed towards Poland. In particular, the option of trying to shoot down these missiles in the skies over Ukraine so as not to wait until they reach NATO airspace is being considered. And this seems absolutely logical. Poland was the first country that started talking to Ukraine about this. We need unambiguous cooperation within NATO for this because this kind of action still requires common NATO responsibility. Tusk emphasized, adding that this is in the interests of Poland and Ukraine so that everything that concerns our common security, our joint actions, bears the stamp of international solidarity, in particular NATO. We are open. Logic shows that this would be much more effective, Tusk said. He added that there were no illusions that this would be an easy solution. And therefore, in the document, we have recorded the desire and need for such a conversation. We will include allies from other NATO countries in this conversation. We are treating the matter seriously, openly, but it is not yet finished. Tusk noted, he promised that as Prime Minister of Poland, he would talk to allies to discuss how such joint action could be organized. He also said that Polish President Andrzej Duda would also talk about it. Tusk named the condition under which Ukraine could receive a squadron of MiG-29s. In particular, if NATO decides to replace these aircraft in Poland with other aircraft, then Ukraine will be able to receive this aircraft. Hurricane Barrel, which originated in the Caribbean Sea, approached the coast of the United States at local time. In Matagorda, Texas, the wind speed was 138 km per hour. As a result of the hurricane, torrential rain, thunderstorm and strong wind prevailed in the region. One person died as a result of a falling tree during the hurricane. More than 2 million people were left without electricity in the region. According to the information released by the National Hurricane Center, the hurricane, which caused devastating damage along the coast, is moving inland. Texas state and local officials warned it could take several days to restore power after Beryl came ashore as a Category 1 hurricane and toppled 10 transmission lines and knocked down trees that took down power lines. Beryl later weakened into a tropical storm and then a tropical depression, far less powerful than the Category 5 behemoth that tore a deadly path of destruction through parts of Mexico and the Caribbean last weekend. But the winds and rains of the fast-moving storm were still powerful enough to knock down hundreds of trees that had already been teetering in water-saturated earth, and strand dozens of cars on flooded roadways. Despite breaking up and losing force, the front was still threatening to flood areas of eastern Texas, western Louisiana and Arkansas overnight, the hurricane center said. Several tornadoes were also possible in those areas, it said. <laughs>